Hey, I'm Kyle, my blog is TalkingGeek.com. Let's get out of business. The business today is The Bell Maker. This is a Redwall book by Brian Jax, the most, or Jax, Jakes, I'm not 100% sure on the last name, my apologies. I should look that up because I really like this author and I have for a long time, um, since at least fifth grade, if not fourth. Um, but, I'm, but I'm confident it wasn't before then. Most of this book doesn't happen near Redwall, though. But my favorite part does. And this is my favorite book in the Redwall series, I think. It's hard to tell sometimes. Uh, because of the story of Slip and Blaggett, which are two sea rats who come to the Abbey. And um, I don't want to spoil anything, but at least one of them is actually trying to be a good creature. And some stuff happens, and it's just a really cool story. Um, sad. Some serious stuff. Some serious stuff gets covered in these fantasy novels. So The Bellmaker, unlike the majority of the Redwall books, uh, is pretty much a direct sequel to Marielle of Redwall. And so uh, this one takes, most, uh, takes place mostly in Southward, uh, which is to the south of Moss Flower. And Joseph and a few others get on a ship called the Pearl Queen um, with a fantastic sea otter named Finbar Gale Deep. And um, they, they stumble across some serious stuff going on with some other creatures that have been stranded at one point, and they head south to where Mariel and Dan Dan uh, ha have headed, and those two are uh, helping a, a king regain his crown, so to speak. Um, the king's actually in prison, uh, but the, the kingdom has been taken over. The kingdom of Southward has been taken over by bad guys, and um, the heroes from Redwall uh, are venturing, adventuring, I should say, in the area. And so they, they decide to help. Um, Joseph gets a vision of his daughters in need, so he heads down south. And uh, it's really cool. It does a great job of weaving its multiple stories together. At one point, there's four stories, then it converges, and there's basically two. Uh, at the very end, they converge into one. Um, but it, it, it's a really cool story. It's probably the most, the heaviest story, though. Like I said, they cover a lot of heavy stuff in this book. Dealing um, with, most of these books deal with loss of a loved one. Um, this one kind of does it on a different level, though. Uh, really loss of a parent figure, and then denial. Denial's a big part of this one. And um, betrayal. Betrayal is a big part of this. Usually when you see betrayal in the Redwall series, it's some sort of villain betraying another villain, trying to um, battle for supremacy. Supremacy, So they're betraying each other. Um, there's a lot of backstabbing that goes on, that type of thing. That's, that's not necessarily the betrayal that I'm talking about here, um, but still pretty, pretty serious and, and pretty cool. Pretty interesting. Um, I think books are a great way to introduce uh, these concepts. I shouldn't say introduce these concepts. A great way for children and adolescents to begin processing these serious concepts that they're going to have to deal with in life. Teenagers and adults and uh, whatnot. They're going to have to deal with a lot of these concepts. And they may say, oh, well, these are mice and otters and rats and ferrets and foxes and whatever, moles and whatnot, that have been anthropomorphized and speak in silly accents, uh, most of them a British kind of accent. Uh, and, and But it's, it's spelled out phonetically so often, and wonderfully so, um, which is which is really cool. And But, but just any time a, a mole talks, I, I, I can't help but smile, you know. Her, they in beautiful ships. Uh, that's not the accent, but 
just just reading it phonetically cracks me up. Um, so, where was I? Oh yeah, this book's probably the heaviest of the books, but it, it's one of my favorite, if not my favorite, of the books. It's a direct sequel, like I said, to Mary of Redwall. Um, so I, I definitely say worth checking out. I haven't read a Redwall book that I wouldn't recommend yet. Um, yeah. I'll put a link, uh, an affiliate link of mine, so I make something off of it if you purchase through it in the, the notes for this video. Um, if you've got any stories about this book, any discussion you want to have about this book, I'd love to talk about these books with more people. So if you've got a discussion to be had, please comment. Uh, put something on my blog, send me an email. Connect with me on LinkedIn, whatever. Let, let's talk about it. I enjoy books. I enjoy talking about books. I enjoy this book in particular. That's what I want to talk about right here, right now. Well, anywho, I'm Kyle. My blog is thetalkinggeek.com. Thanks for watching, and I hope that you get a chance to enjoy The Bellmaker by Brian Jakes as well. It is a novel of Redwall where most of the story does not take place anywhere near Redwall.